How you guys doing? It's Jesse White down here on the Eastern Shore. Um, there's a lot of people looking for different spots uh, to fish. Um, most of the good spots right now, Blackwater Refuge, uh, the snakeheads are playing a big factor down here. They're eating up everything from ducks, frogs, crayfish, turtles, uh, birds you see on the side of the, um, the water coming down. Uh, little black birds with the red wings. Can't think of what they're called at the moment. Uh, they're eating them. They're all the way up in the vegetation when it's high tide. Snakes, anything. Anything they can grab a hold of, they're eating. And I'm trying to do my part. Like, before, I was all about, oh, release everything. I mean, I still release them. Don't get me wrong. If I'm not going to eat it, I'm not going to bring it to the table. I'm letting it go. That's one thing I can tell you guys. Don't just kill this fish to kill it. If you're not going to eat it, you're not going to take it home. Don't transport it anywhere. Don't do none of that stupid crap. Take it off your line. Let it go exactly where you caught it. Don't take it down the road and, oh, I might keep it and keep it alive. No. DNR yanks you up. Your butt's going to jail. You're getting fines. You're getting all kind of crazy stuff. I, my, One of my buddies hit one with a bat, thought it was dead. It was still alive in the car. Uh, DNR checked his cooler. He got a thousand dollar fine, lost his license for two years in Maryland. Um, it's not something to play around with. So like I said, if you're gonna kill it, cut the, cut the gills out, slit the throat. Basically the best thing to do, get a bucket of water, slit the throat completely, drop it in the bucket, bleed it out. The meat will be 10 times better that way as well um so for spots i mean there's a lot of good spots uh everybody goes to the wifford uh wolford store uh you can get your bait tackle everything right there um all down through there key wallace road uh new bridge road um draw bridge uh, there's so many different spots in that area that's a that's one helpful way to find a spot. Basically, them roads that I just gave you, that's on the Eastern Shore and Blackwater in Cambridge. Any body of water that you find along them roads, you are gonna catch fish, put your time in. Um, you can catch fish at nighttime, uh, get you a, a light up bobber. You wanna put the minnow no more than 12 inches under the water. The less, sometimes the better. You move it up and down until you figure it out. What happens is that light brings in bait, different stuff, uh, because most of these places are pitch black. There's no lights there. So anything is gonna come straight to that light source because they wanna know what's going on. Um, and if there's a little minnow swimming around in the middle of the night, bam, you got one. Uh, you can actually use soft uh, plastics that glow in the dark. Keep like a little uh, light with you. Keep them, keep them energized. And you want to work these lures on the bottom at nighttime, and they will hit those as well because they're just like, well, what the heck is that? Let me, let me grab it. Um, I mean, there's there's so many different things you can do. Uh, whopper floppers. I don't have a ton of success with them but they work. I've caught fish on them. Um, bass assassins work really good. Uh, if you're slow finessing them through the water, you're basically rip, rip, let it like kind of sink. And usually on that downfall, there is a lot of action because it's kind of like doing the ripple effect. Like it's di slowly dying. And man, them fish are on it like that. A lot of times, if you can get it right in front of their face and it starts doing that, they are like, oh, this thing's injured. Boom eat it um frogs i watch a lot of you guys i just don't i try not to say anything because i mean i don't like to hurt people's feelings and them get mad because they think i'm trying to be better than them no i'm not i'm trying to teach you when you're working your frog i mean a lot of times people are yanking them too fast they're moving them across the water especially popping frogs they do that too i'll tell you how with that so when you're moving that frog you don't want to move it like this. You want to move it like this. Barely move it. Twitch, twitch. 
and it'll turn. And a lot of times when that frog stops after that turn, it's an explosion and they grab it. They suck that bad boy down. And a lot of you like to yank that rod as soon as you set that hook. I mean, as soon as they grab that hook, you cannot do that. Once in a while, it'll happen. You'll get, you'll get a hookup. I, I still do it to this day. When they grab it, when you, when you hear the pop, that give it a second and they will release an air pocket in, the, in there because they're air breathers. When you see those bubbles, yank. But you gotta give it like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, or on that third Mississippi, then yank because they're, they're releasing the air. And when they release the air, the back of that tongue pushes up so they can digest that food and boom, you got them. You got them. A lot of these big fish, man, they're so smart. They're, they're, they, they swipe at it and these guys are just gung-ho on yanking the line. It, it's not going to happen. And I'm telling you guys, at least have 20-pound braid on there. If you're fishing clear water, try fluoro 20 pound so they don't bite directly through that line. Clear water, man, they can see really good. A lot of people say their eyesight's bad. That dark water, yes, that's bad. Clear water, man, them things are so smart. And that's why a lot of people bow fish them in clear water because it's hard to get them to bite. I've done it, I've fished it. I, I haven't had as much luck because the water's more darker um the thing with the popping frog people like to just rip that thing like pop 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 you can't you, you're not fishing for bass you're fishing for snakeheads so when you throw it out and you want to get that right away as soon as it hits the water just give it a quick twitch and a lot of times if they're sitting around they will explode that some booger um so you just want to give it a small twitch and let it sit and then reel it up and a lot of times you can take the rod tip, put it down close to the water and give it a good drag. So it's like a bloop. And then you let it sit and then twitch it real quick. And then do the same thing. I mean, a lot of times I've had them explode uh, on that. But I mean, there's so much different stuff you can do. Uh, sorry, I almost dropped the phone to catch these fish. Um, they like Senkos, they like rubber worms, um, crayfish, you name it. The clear water, clear water, when you find somewhere, flip rocks, flip rocks around. Uh, look what, what's in the water. That's what they're eating. They're not, they're not going to connect with a rubber frog on the top of the water unless there's frogs in that facility because that's not what they're eating. Flip it up. Uh, Helgamites could be sitting there, crayfish, um, creek chubs, uh, salamanders. Grab that stuff. Put it on the hook. Or if you have something to imitate that, put it on the hook. That's what you're going to catch that one because that's what they're eating. Uh, real fast-flowing rivers uh, like the Susquehanna, the um, Little Patuxen, the Big Patuxen. They're loaded right now with snakeheads. Uh, I've been catching them on the little Patuxent for the last like seven years. It's literally the bottom part of it where it dumps in the big part, it's loaded. It's, it's completely loaded with snakeheads and they're like eating up all the trout, the browns. Like there's a lot going on. Everybody swears there's nothing going on. It's bull crap. Like I was the same as you, I was naive. I didn't want to listen to nobody because I had fun catching them. But yes, they're eating up native fish. They're tearing the hell out of everything because they're eating what they can get. <laughs> everything and anything. Um, they found one not too long ago. I don't think it was, I don't think anybody posted it. I heard about it. It had like a, it was a 12 pounder with like a full size muskrat in its stomach. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, sorry, sorry about my language because I know kids watch my uh, my channel. Uh, but yeah, man, like it's crazy. Um, but yeah, if you want to get okay, so if you go down the Eastern Shore, you go down to Cambridge, go to the Wolford store. Uh, it's a small local family-owned business. Take care of you. They got good food. 
uh, man, the toast, uh, shit on shingles, that's what I call it. Uh, the gra uh, sausage gravy or on top of toast, man, is to die for. I got it there the other day while I was doing a job down that area. Um, I live like 20 minutes away from there, basically a local. Um, just out here trying to help people that have kids. I mean, they're, they're, uh, who's going to be able to put the foot traffic in if you got children? Them kids are not going to want to walk very far. They're not going to want to drive all over the place. If you know where a spot is and you can go sit down and have a good time with your family, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here. I'm about that. Uh, I'm not about all these people want to bash me for making this video. I, I don't care. I mean, look, what have I got to lose? I, I, I catch snakeheads everywhere. I catch snakeheads five minutes from my house in Laurel, Del Delaware, in town at uh, Records Pond. See, look, just gave you another spot. Uh, Seaford. Uh, right there at the hospital. I mean, the Nanico that stretches all the way up there. That's loaded with them. Um, Laurel is another branch off of the Nanico. Uh, yeah, the Nanico that comes up. Loaded with them. Uh, Salisbury, man. Salisbury Zoo. Loaded with them. Like that river that runs up out of the Wacomico. Um, all the way up to Johnson's Pond at the bottom of it. The dam. They're catching them there. Like, there are so many different places they're catching them. They're catching them... Is up in Dover. Like, I haven't made my way up that way. I mean, I have spots that I'm not going to give out because me and my buddies that live around this area, we fish it. Um, it's getting ready to start raining. Uh, I'm going to make this quick. So, um, Sydney's Kitchen, if you're down there in Cambridge, another fantastic, fantastic place to eat. Monday and Wednesdays, they got shepherd's pie, chicken and dumplings. Holy cow, it's to die for. Um, Kaz, if you want your snakehead stickers, snake, snakeheadlife.com, um, he'll take care of you on all that. If you need helpful hints, message him. He's always a nice guy. He helps you out. Um, there's so many different people. Brian, uh, the dude is the, like, best custom rod builder around here. Uh, he can take care of you. He built me a custom rod for my son. In memory of him his ashes are inside of the rod like it's incredible like I, I fish with that thing all the time now I before for almost a year I was scared to use it, it, it because when he passed I didn't want to it, like it was a piece of me uh, but now I use it and catch fish on it I mean that's cool I just scared and scared to hell to break it <laughs> I mean that would kill me um, I'm going to do something. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah. I want people to like, share, and subscribe. Now, I'm going to do something. I don't have a lot of subscribers. Uh, I've had this for a long time. If, if you guys get a chance, like, subscribe, share. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, if you want to get a custom rod, be, be custom rods. And Brian will hook you up. Uh, he can do snakehead designs. He can do anything offshore, man. He, they, are, he, um, him and Brandon are building rods. I mean, they're catching tunas on them. So like, it's not cheap stuff. It's not junk. It's good stuff, and he'll take care of you. If you need anything, look it up. B B B Custom Rods on Facebook. Um, I'm, I think he has a website up. But anyway. Um, giving away free lures these are my favorite the rage swimmers uh they're basically a kai tech but they're stronger plastic so you get more out of them um riptides great with a red jig head for snake heads or bass the yum yum crave well these snake heads love them yum crayfish I'll be sending those three packages to one lucky person. If I can reach 300 subscribers by the end of next week, all you guys got to do, it's easy. Like, share, subscribe. Just help people spread the word, man. I, I will help anybody. Like, I'm giving away free fishing spots. If you guys want to go fishing with me, I'd be more than happy to take you anywhere, wherever you want to go. Um, just say, hey, I'm going here. I need someone to help me uh, catch snakeheads. 
I'd be more than happy to show up, help you do whatever it has to take. Uh, oh, don't forget, if you guys need bait, hit up the bait boys, Damien and um, Cornflower. They'll take care of you. Um, but if there's anything else you guys need, drop a comment, send me a message. Um, if you get on Instagram, Leroy Custom 27, that's my uh, Instagram. You can send me a message through there or right on Facebook. Um, I'm on there as well. Uh, snakehead dot or snakehead snakeheadlife.com on Facebook. I'm I'm in there. That's Kaz's group. Um, I look forward to hearing from some of you people. If there's anything you need, just give me a shout. All right, guys, have a good one. Jesse out.